to Bambino Becky and Mia Mon. Today we are going to be doing an assumptions video answering your assumptions that you sent in. Sent in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Let's fucking go. This right. is actually the third time we filmed this video. No, don't tell them that. The other day we filmed it once, no sound. Filmed it again, it looked like, well, paranormal activity. <laughs> so we're going to answer more assumptions, nice. but if you want to see the original assumptions we are answered, go and click on the link in the description. We've got a carer now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dilf James is here. Like, uh, um, what is it? Dilf with potential. That's what Wayne Lineker calls potential it. Potential Dilf. Yes. On Wayne Lineker, actually. Yeah. I believe. I did have sex with him. <laughs> uh, she's sleeping with Wayne Lineker. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. <laughs> Still sleeping. How long has that been? Ocean Beach is expensive. It was a moment in my life where I thought everyone was in on the joke. It, they weren't. Surely they were. I saw that and I was crying up. Wait, the way they were Yeah. Yeah, everyone was everyone knows. Knows. But it, it wasn't knows. real. What? But yeah, obviously it wasn't real. That's what I'm saying, but most people were like, no, you are literally kissing him in that picture. So your ex, who was in Ibiza, thought so you were getting with Wayne Minica in, in front, front of, of him. him. He looked at him and went, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> and his response was, that's interesting. The whole thing is fucked. My life's fucked. <laughs> But you didn't try Oh my god, he rang me the other night. <gasps> Wait, Wait, Wait Nicka rang me the other night. I was rang sleeping. You. He did a night at my local pub back in Wales. Stop. And obviously they somehow made a connection. And the pub was calling me. And they were like, that was Wayne. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> fucking love to you. Did you it was 3 a.m. We love. You've got vibes. Don't know you I'm in Neef. <laughs> Where are you at? Um, okay, Sorry. Mia, one for uh, you. Uh, you don't actually like any influencers off camera. <laughs> Is that really well? Yeah. No, off camera, you off don't camera, like us. No, I feel like I am so friendly and I'm really nice to everyone. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> just, I'm really nice with the I'm such a nice Cat. person. <laughs> um, to be fair, somebody asked me this the other day. What's it like just only being friends with influencers? Is it weird like not having any normal friends? And actually, I feel like the majority of people that I see day to day are not influencers. And um, my friends actually have quite serious jobs like law and finance. What yeah, are you, what, what your best friend's a, what, a neuroscientist? She, yeah, she's a neuroscientist. No, also a Playboy star. Yeah. So like, oh. Playboy model, get yourself neuroscientist. A, get yourself a girl that can do both. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the industry, I really get on with. To be fair, I don't think there's anyone that I don't get on with. There's people that I'm friends with and people that I'm like acquaintances with. Yeah. What, you don't not like anyone in the industry? No. Yeah. Do you know what? I don't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> so it's like, I'm never going to no. like intentionally cut somebody out or like be rude or <laughs> be mean. Yeah. But yeah, you just you're friends with right out. Boom. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> imagine that. Do you know who I am? The amount of people that do use that you know who I am is actually crazy. But it's because yeah. they're so frustrated that it comes out and it sounds even funnier. Do you know who I am? Do not know who I am? <laughs> what? Have you ever used you know who I am? No, but I once used famous birthdays to get into a club. Okay. And I that once, felt fun. I once said I was with Theo Baker to get into a street record. We did get let in and it was great. I've never used you know who I am because I feel like they'd be like, no. But famous birthdays, what do you mean? So I forgot my ID and I was with my old roommate and Chi at the time. Yeah. And they were like, you're not coming Famous in. birthdays. And I was like, oh, we can't. And I went, oh, we could Oh, we could <laughs> <laughs> We were the now. fucking lowest moment in my life. And I was going, oh, <laughs> did it let you in? And they went, like, see, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, thank you. What ranking are you? Because you get a ranking on famous birthdays. Do you? Yeah, but you do. I'm quite like some Welsh. There's not many Welsh people, is there? 7,175 in the world. That's so famous. You're 22. I can't even work counting. It's, it's 22,908. Okay, and I'm 10,500. Can you go and boost our famous birthdays, please? <laughs> It's because I look at this. Girls to number one! What yeah, you my older sister named Kate who has appeared in videos like siblings. She was previously romantically linked. You wish you'd never started social media. I'm glad I do social media. I wouldn't have met you two if I didn't do social no. media. Did, 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 did social media. <laughs> well, that's not true. Yes. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually not true because I met you when you didn't do social media. Did you? That's facts, actually. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. We met at a charity match. I don't watch many YouTube videos. Even I don't now. watch many YouTube videos. No. Oh, no. Um, I'm late. Do I'm you? Like a, I'm like a young... I, I feel like I'm like a teenage boy. I play Fortnite and watch YouTube. Really? Yeah. <laughs> pick me. Like, you literally <laughs> fuck. Like, choose no, me. I'll actually pick me. Love me. Please pick Love me. me. Please. I'm lonely as sin. <laughs> Please, God. What about you? Do you like your social media presence? Uh, ooh. Yeah, I do, but I could be doing a lot more. That's, yeah. This is controversial, but I don't like the fact that I'm known as like the 
drink drinker, it. yeah. I don't really yeah, like that, that much. That. I needed to see it off to, because my channel was in the mud. I was like, okay, how can I do drinking and guests? And I went, oh, so I just hammered it for like a year. Yeah. Do you like your social media presence? Uh, I think I'm quite sensitive. What, yeah. to social media? Yeah, like, you never say that. No, never. I, wasn't, I would never. I would, yeah, but I wouldn't really say that to her. But no, I think I'm quite sensitive and I think I can find it quite like, Full on. Really? Yeah. Do you think it affects you? But yeah, it does it does really affect me. I think it would affect anyone. Like yeah. having like hundreds of people in your phone. <laughs> just yeah. kind of, like, just like just in there constantly, yeah. like giving their opinion on things. Humans as a whole aren't supposed to have. No. That yeah. that's why I stopped using Twitter. Like I was so miserable at like the peak of my Twitter usage. So, so not normal to wake up and like be criticized. Like I, I woke up this morning, imagine the first thing I saw, I was like <laughs> half up and I am like oh, Cool. And someone was like, oh, sorry on the Simon video, congratulations on the baby. I guess if I was pregnant. Oh. And I went, I've been losing weight. That's so annoying. You know no, but you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter about your weight. If you're a woman on social media, if you have social media and you're a woman, people oh, will always think you're pregnant. Me. It's such a lazy insult as well because I've had it before where people are like, oh, I'm getting weight, are you getting fat? And I'm like, that is not the insult that you want to hit me with. Yeah. I, yeah. You're like, I yes. work day and night to gain weight. If you want to hurt my feelings, call me skinny. Like, do your fucking research. I mean, she was saying the other day, there's nothing that we... This is so sad. There's nothing that we haven't said to ourselves. That's what that is so say. true. When you get like down about comments, what do you what do you do about it? When you get down oh. just in general, what do you do? Mm. Do you speak to someone, or do you go for a walk, or do you mm. like see friends, or do you just cry in a corner? Or, or, or all of the above. <laughs> yeah, I think it's different depending on the, on the day. Yeah. If I'm hungover, it's not good. <laughs> I'm like, get outside. Um, but you go outside, seeing friends, even just messaging people. Like I'm in that group chat, you can tell when I'm having a bad day because I'm like <laughs> <laughs> waiting yeah. for the replies. I'm like <laughs> Shannon Mears typing yes. I found that I was really struggling with something, and I said it out loud. I was literally sitting with my housemates, and I said it out loud, and I was like, oh. Actually, that's like another. I I don't care anymore. Yeah. Like I actually don't care anymore. Once I'd said it and heard myself say it, I was like, oh yeah, no, I, I don't. That's fine. It's fine. Like I've just got to process it and it's out. Literally just got to say yeah. it out loud. Trying to find someone can be really overwhelming. So with BetterHelp, it's all in one place. You just answer a few questions and they'll link you with professionals that have years of experience. You can chat to them via message or video chat, whichever you prefer. And today, by clicking on the link in the description, they are offering a special discount for your first month. I would just say, if you don't feel like you're getting what you need the first time round, please don't let it discourage you and try again. What you are looking for is out there, I promise. You secretly like your comment section because it gets you more views. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Should we have to do another one? Yeah. <laughs> Mine were creative and no, now they're just the same thing over and over again. But I do yeah. like them, keep commenting them because they get me more. They get more cash. More. more cash, more money. Cash money. <laughs> cash money. <laughs> what the flip? Give Becky one. She earns the most out of all three of you. Oh no, I don't actually think that's true. That's not true. I think it is. My manager calls me the poorest YouTuber. I think you earn the most out of all three of us. Not even me. Mia's not agreeing. <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't know. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good with money. What, you spend I'm it? Not, I don't think I'm good with money either. My expenses, oh, are my outgoings are really high. My outgoings are really high. I'm a high. saver. Yeah. So you're sensible, we're quite reckless. Yeah. Who would you say makes the most then? I think without outgoings, I would I would say you. I would say that assumption's correct. Wow. Yeah, I think it's, wow. I think it's you as well. That's yeah. actually mad. Yeah. Well, How much is <laughs> your bank account right now? Well, because I had to pay three months here. It was nice, and now it's not the same. <laughs> yeah, fair. You paid um, three months up front? Yeah. But so you've got more money than me. <laughs> Mia, applied for a reality TV show. I've never applied for a reality TV Have you show. Been I, I really wanted, you know, my favourite reality TV show at the moment, or just ever, is it's The Traitors. Traitors? I, thought I you would that. love to do The Traitors, but they don't allow like people with social media followings to do yeah. it. Love Island is really not for me. No, I can't imagine. Um, I did much. get asked to do Locked In. I've been asked to do it twice, and it both hasn't materialised both I times. forget that's a reality TV yeah. show. I want to do Bake Off. I want to do Bake Off. Desperately. <laughs> I'd like to do Total Wine Dancing World. Dancing on the Oh, Total oh World. you'd be like, sick of Total Wine World. Like, the way that you, like, <laughs> the hire it out and yeah, do it. I would yeah. love to do that. Should like, do that's that? so fun. Female. Let us know. Female to Who's gonna do it, though? Like? I will do it. You will do it. On my channel, if you want it, let me know in the comments. <laughs> so I'll cool. get female influencers and create content creators on, and we'll all go do Total Wine World. All in the tiniest bikinis possible. No. I'm in a full wetsuit. No, Mia. Yes. She was a nerd in school. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> nerd. Loser. Uh, I did really well in school. So, yeah, I think people think I wasn't. 
let her stay. <laughs> I think people think I'm thick, which I mean, fair enough, because I feel like I do act up a little bit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, I'm thick. Silly. <laughs> just being silly. All What's the fella that you love? Frank Iero. Frank Iero from My Chemical Romance. I met him and I was like, that's it. 16, 16. Was, this is like the life peak. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still like him now? Like, if you no, he's like a dad and he's like in oh, his 40s okay, yeah, now. He's not really for me. And you. he's five foot six. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I like a tall man. I like, <laughs> I like a tall man. <laughs> Actually, he's a bit my, short for me. One of my assumptions leading on to it is uh, <laughs> she loves short men. Oh. <laughs> Do you specifically go for short men or is it just coincidence that you have dated short men? I've never like looked at a man and thought he was unattractive because of his height. No, but ni neither have I at all. Neither have <laughs> I ever. I think some people do and I think some people like be like, oh, he's short, I can't date him. Oh, I don't think really? like that at all. I would never write somebody off. I, I would never. No. I, it never bothers me. I don't know whether I would date someone that was shorter than me. But the same height and above is fine. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. But I yeah. think my preference is for taller men. But again, I, if I really liked somebody and they were like, five, it wouldn't eight, put you five, off. Nine, no, it wouldn't. Five, yeah. Five, yeah. Five, five, eight, five, eight, five, nine. Is it even that short? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was that girl in school that always had like a like a friend who was a bit more popular, and I'd be like, yes, yes, yes fine, fine. <laughs> like just a follower. Yeah. Oh yes. yes. Were you? Oh, so what a shy. trendsetter. Do you know there's one time when I went home, this boy was in the pub and he was like, oh my god, I, YouTube is amazing, apparently he went to our school and I was like, it's like fucking sat next to you for three years. <laughs> and he was like, that was you! The fringe, what? didn't say a word, I was so shy. Oh bless you. I know, then I found the bottle. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you actually do strike me as somebody who was quite shy in school. Really? Yeah. So what happened? I think you think that pe you think that people don't like you. Yeah, terrible. You do, yeah. you do. And therefore then, they don't like me because I push them away. <gasps> God, oh, it's deep in it. Wow. Terrible. Yeah, I don't like confrontation and none of it. No, no. You really don't like confrontation. Oh no, I'd rather. This is awful. I'd rather never speak to someone again than have to have the conversation. <laughs> and I mean that. It's such a bad trait. I tell you what, I've been on the other side of a bambino Becky angry voice note before, and I wouldn't it want to be on not it again. An angry voice note. <laughs> <was a sad, laughs> and I wouldn't want to do it again. <laughs> it's okay. No, because um, you were more angry. Because it, it, she's scary. I wasn't. I the way you speak on um, messages is quite blunt. It is like, blunt. even today, you hadn't even had the camera set up, and you're like, yeah, I'm here, lol. Yes, that's it. But, but it's the lol. Were... I put lol. No, but no in, like... the lol is like, mm -hmm, lol. Well, where the fuck are you? No, it's, yeah, I'm here, lol. No, oh, <laughs> that's what I read. It's, yeah, I'm here, lol. I'm here, lol. But it's a lot of lol. Mia, are you coming, lol? I was like, yeah, you didn't say you were there. I'm here, lol. I'm here, lol. <laughs> Are you not even turn up for you? <coughs> Classic Mia, lol. But you guys know me, you know I'm not messaging angrily. No, I know, but sometimes you know. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm mm. not messaging angrily. You hated locked in. I didn't hate locked in. <laughs> you didn't have a good time, but that, was a, <laughs> that wasn't your fault that you didn't hate locked in. No, you it, didn't enjoy locked in. It was, I, had, I was very ill. Yeah. yeah. I had a bladder infection. There's, you need to be top form to be on that show. Yeah, and I was living with eight people. I bless one time, I had bladder infection. I was constantly going to the toilet. I was fucking handcuffed of Casey in one day, oh, yeah. dragging her to the toilet about 30 times a day. I can't believe they had you do that when they knew that you had a bladder yeah. infection. I know. The medic eventually gave me antibiotics, but they didn't work. And so as soon as there was a chance to vote somebody out, I said, please vote me. I know it sounds like I have yeah. asked to be voted out. They just wanted me to leave, but I said, please vote me out. And so they did. And I left. Um, and I, if I wasn't ill, I would have done it for a lot longer. I think I, I, I wouldn't. You I would have loved to stay. Yeah. But oh my god, there's nothing worse than one of them either. No. no. I had one on a plane once. I thought it was going to oh, die. Oh, oh how long was the flight? To Greece. It was like four hours, oh, four and a half. Oh. You just oh. want, you just want to cry and like you're sweating. It's just horrible. Oh. Like, have I wet myself? Yeah. Oh. At this point, I'll just wet myself. I don't care. Yeah, so I didn't hate locked in. I was just very ill. Um, I loved the people who I was in the house with. If I could do it again and not be ill with the exact same people, I think I would. Oh. Yeah. Becky, uh, you're only five foot one. <laughs> I like that. How this long are you? I'm going. I'm five five or five six in between. I think we're all pretty much the same. I'm height. five foot five. I'm five five and a half. Okay, I think I'm like a little bit. Above I'm five five maybe. and a half. So exciting. I'm I'm five, five, five. I think I'm taller than you. The truth. Yeah, Shannon. I think I would say you are. 
like five seven. You're no. you're considerably, you're considerably <laughs> taller than Betty. But not really? five seven. I think you're about five four. Yeah, Mia's taller. But wait, no, go no, wait, again. Not, I'm I'm below five five. So you, you're, wait, you're exactly the same. Look upwards, me. I think we're exactly the same. You're exactly the same. Exactly the same. <gasps> you're just like me. I'm just, just like, like you. you. Mia, mm. assumption for you: you believe in star signs <gasps> to an extent. Yes. Do I think that where you were born massively influences how you are as a person? Not really. But do I think that horoscopes offer valuable lessons of introspection on yourself and the situations of your life? Yes. It's the same with tarot. Like, you can be dealt a card and it makes you think, oh, how can I apply what this card means to my life? And how can I think about what this card means in application to my life? Say a card comes out and it's like, there's somebody in your life who maybe you're not treating well or isn't treating you well. Yeah. You can think, oh, who in my life maybe actually isn't treating me well? And it forces you to think introspectively. I mean, that's, that's, that's what they play on though, isn't it? That's what, they, that's, that's what they, they do. That's what they do. Like that, like that's yeah. what tarot readers and like psychics do. It's like they'll be, scrolling. they'll say something and it makes you think, mm. and then you go, oh yeah. No, not in terms of being of a psychic, because I do think some of that is a bit dodgy. But tarot is literally just about introspection. How does a situation apply to you, and it makes you think about your life. And the same with horoscopes, it makes you think about your life. I see you're like struggling at work, and you. In your horoscope it says, oh, maybe you're struggling at work because of X, Y, Z reasons. You think, oh, is this maybe why I'm struggling at work? And it actually forces you to think about your life, where maybe you wouldn't have thought about that before. Yeah, you're actually quite smart sometimes. Like, (laughs) (laughs) No, but like, I think the girl's quiet for a second. To be honest, (laughs) I feel like you could post something about a topic that is quite serious and you would know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I, I really, like some people hate watching the news. I do, I do actually quite enjoy the news. I love documentaries. I've watched a lot of documentaries. I read a lot as well. Um, I, yeah, I like current events. I like politics. I do quite enjoy all that stuff. Yeah. I don't but, know how we've gone from horoscopes oh, yeah. to politics. Well, but we have, because you were just talking about horoscopes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can picture mine and Becky's faces on the camera like. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go for the pub quiz? General knowledge. <laughs> Shannon. Becky. <laughs> can you do a British accent? Can you can you do a British accent? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't suit me at all. Becky. Imagine if I spoke really? English. You stole the cat from Christopher and want to give it back. Oh. No. What? I always thought this was true. Chris and I, when we got the cat, we agreed that the cat would come with me if we ever broke up. Probably not a good not a good sign when you agree that. Four years before we break up. up. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, we decided that if we were to ever break up, the cat would come with me. And I think you do need to do that in a relationship because there's always a chance you're going to break up whenever. So you need to decide if you break up, so there's no back and forth or anything like that. You know, Chris still loves Smudge and I still love Smudge and there's a lot of love for Smudge there. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Fucking cat. And you know, that was what was decided. definitely is tricky but um <laughs> i think i think if you want to decide who's going to get the pet that's that's what it is so no yeah didn't steal the cat chris still loves smudge if you wanted to see him you can see him at any point becky uh any youtube couple you befriend break up <laughs> there was this one time <laughs> twice actually <laughs> no no, 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 no. I'm just like a bad omen. omen yeah. yeah. Yeah, terribly bad energy. No, I think the one that was meant to was you on See It Off. That's facts, actually. That yeah, so yeah I don't think we spoke about this really. I, I, kind of I said don't think we've spoken about it, actually. Because you guys were fine that night, and then you were just begging me to come for tapas, and God forbid, yeah. if I came for tapas, things might be different. We, <laughs> we went for tapas. Yeah, and I had stuff on the next day, and I was like, oh, I can't, because I was a bit drunk. Yeah. And, um, oh, I was going away the next day. No, you weren't going away. I was, because I was sat on a beach in Tenerife when you texted me. Oh. But you both texted me separately at the yeah. same time. <laughs> and I was going, this No, is... but that was a while after we broke up. It was before you put the seal on. We were like, oh, just to let you know, you can put this out. I think it was a week after, yeah. A week after, yeah. You yeah. can put this out, but just so you know. Didn't you break up the day after seal? We did. <laughs> yes. Hang over. Hang over, just going. Maybe that was just what you needed, you know, the straw on the camel's back. I think that video shows that we didn't hate each other. It just... Yeah. Didn't work. 
Yeah. I mean, no, I do not. I think there was something in the air in the past year where everyone was kind of just being like, okay, maybe... Maybe I think we should reevaluate our situation. People just get to a certain age, like twenty five. You get yeah. married or you break up. The frontal core is uh, is all is all. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The frontal lobe. The frontal lobe. It's not yeah. apparently. <laughs> it's grown. Yeah. It's all the alcohol is shrunk. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> I think that's probably all that we've got time for today. Yeah, that's a wrap, guys. That's a wrap. Thanks, guys, for today and for the other day when we filmed. And like I said, if you want to see version one of this, link in the description. Bye. Oh, Bye. stay in touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know how to start it. We're gonna be like, what the fuck's going on, everyone? Welcome back. No, not back because they <laughs> we haven't. Well, you're welcome back to my channel. Yeah, uh, but back to me. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome to a and a. Oh, 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 fucking hell.